back with a timeout with your girl, the segment on my channel where we discuss many sports topics. And today we will be talking about the NBA trade deadline because we had some very interesting moves take place along with some not so interesting moves. But I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get right into this video. So how this is gonna work guys is I will be grading each move with either a star, a shoulder shrug emoji, or a poop emoji. The star emoji means that it was a great move. The shoulder shrug emoji means, eh, the move was really mid, it wasn't bad, and it doesn't help the team get any better either. And finally, if it was a bad move, it's getting a poop emoji. So first, I'm starting off with the Denver Nuggets, and they are getting a star for these trade deadline moves. First, they acquired Aaron Gordon, and I am happy for Aaron Gordon because Aaron Gordon to me was a player that we all know or is a player that we all know is talented but his talents were being wasted with a team that ultimately was going nowhere anytime soon. Now he is playing alongside Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic a team with a lot of potential. Another reason why this move was a win to me is because also they picked up JaVale McGee. JaVale gets picked on a lot but let's not forget that he provides defense and rim protection. One of the biggest weaknesses of the Denver Nuggets, especially during the bubble, was their defense and a lot of mismatches that took place. They failed to protect the rim sometimes, especially against players like Anthony Davis. JaVale added with Aaron Gordon can help provide some of that protection and defense that the Denver Nuggets were missing. And to top it off, they were able to acquire this for Gary Harris and RJ Hampton and a first round pick. So the Nuggets 100% get a star for this move. The next team I have up for you guys today are the Chicago Bulls and I'm giving them a star for this move because they were able to pick up Vucevic and he is now a Chicago Bull. Those of you that know me know that I'm a big Zach Levine fan and I'm glad that the Bulls are leaving the trend of surrounding a star player with really young players and hoping that they become superstars and wasting the time and talent of a player like Zach Levine. My only concern would be that you gave up two picks and Wendell Carter Jr., a relatively young talent for a player in his 30s, and big men usually decline after their mid-30s, so the Bulls would be looking for a success sooner than later. But taking the fact that Wendell Carter Jr. is trying to stay healthy, I guess they kind of cancel each other out a bit. I think this is good for Vooch. He's in his 30s with a team that um, instead of going forward, they tend to go backwards a lot of times. And it was just time for him to move forward. He was ultimately just putting up stats with that team. Now his stats could actually amount to something. Now he actually gets to play alongside a really good player in Zach Levine. So we'll just see how this team turns out. You know what? I was going to give the Celtics a shoulder shrug because they didn't get any better, but they didn't necessarily get any worse. But scratch that. I'm going to be giving them a poop emoji because I see a trend with the Celtics that I don't like and that's constantly wasting moves and not getting what they actually need. And that's exactly what this move was. Not to knock Evan Fournier, he can definitely shoot the ball, but you already have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown who score over 20 points, and you have a ball dominant guard in Kimba Walker when he's healthy. In my opinion, they should have gotten quality bigs instead of getting another score, and this does not just go for this year, this goes for past seasons as well. I can go on all day about the Celtics' terrible decisions, but we will just move on, just know they get a poop emoji from me. Next up is the Miami Heat. I am giving the Miami Heat a star for acquiring Oladipo, for Avery Bradley, Kelly Olynyk, and a 2022 first round pick. The Miami Heat are definitely in a high reward, low risk situation. And the biggest point is that they didn't get rid of their stars, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and they were able to keep other important pieces like Bam, Jimmy, and Dragic. I'm not saying they're gonna go back to the finals because of, um, yeah. But they definitely have the potential. Next we have the Portland Trailblazers. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. Gary Trent Jr. and Rodney Hood for Norman Powell. I'm giving this trade a shoulder shrug because I feel like Powell and Gary Trent are interchangeable and provide pretty much similar things for their team. However, the Trailblazers didn't get any better and they didn't get any worse. So I'm gonna give them a shoulder shrug. Now on to the Houston Rockets. I think there is no surprise that the Rockets will be getting a poop emoji. The Rockets have eight first round picks, but 
You trade James Harden and all you get is Avery Bradley and Kelly Olynyk, basically two role players. And on top of that, you give away Victor Oladipo to an already contending Miami team. And last but certainly not least, we have the LA Clippers. The Clippers were able to acquire Rajon Rondo. A lot of people would say Rondo hasn't been playing his best, but Atlanta is a team whose primary function is to run through Trey Young. But let's not forget what Rondo can do. You saw for yourself what he did for the Lakers in the finals. To me, Rondo is exactly what the Clippers needed. Earlier they lost Montrezl Harrell but did a good recovery with Serge Ibaka, but it didn't really fix their playmaking issue. But Rondo can make plays for his team and distribute the ball to key players like Paul George and Kawhi. That is the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like the video and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the trade deadline moves in the NBA. I would love to hear your opinion. Um, let me know what you thought about what I said in this video. Let me, let me know if you agree or disagree with anything. Also you guys write down in the comments what you want me to talk about. Do you want me to talk about the NBA, the NFL, college football, college basketball, whichever thing you would want me to talk about, I am up for it. Even though I do talk about sports, this is also a gaming channel, so please go to my videos and check out my gaming channel. I've been going off on Rogue Company, and I probably will have another clip for you guys coming up sometime this week. I will put the previous video up so you will be able to go and watch that. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.